Hi everybody, this is Nate Miller from Proving Ground. In this video I'm going to demonstrate some of the basics for using a new tool that we've released called Conductor. Conductor is a tool that allows you to connect your AEC modeling applications like Revit and Rhino to Trello's project management platform. Uh, we became fans of Trello at Proving Ground uh, because we started to pick it up and use it for a lot of our software development. We started to use it for uh, things like lead tracking and um, other organizational things that we were doing within the company. And at a certain point we thought it would be pretty cool to connect this project management tool into some of the uh, modeling platforms that we found ourselves find ourselves using on a day-to-day -day basis. So what is Trello? Trello kind of is built around this Kanban style uh, list and card um, interface. So you can see I've got a couple of lists here, to do, doing, and done. Um, I'm going to go in here and just create a couple of uh, cards representing different task lists. And then some of the cool things that you can do with these cards, just to give you an idea, is you can click into them. Um, you can assign different members to the cards. Uh, you can assign different labels, so this one might be uh, high priority, for example. I can add that to the card. You know, we might have something like medium priority. We can add things like checklists, so if you want to have uh, some uh, Kind of things to check off in order to kind of label the task complete. You can say this is like item one, item two, item three, and assign th things like due dates, um, and all sorts of different things that you might want to, to, to have inside of a project management platform. And then the main interface is about how you move these cards from list to list um, and recategorize them as the projects progress. So I can move this to the doing column and I can move it to the done column. I can click in here, you know, check off these items and this task would then be done. So we find ourselves again using this in a lot of the different projects that we do at Proving Ground and we wanted to find a way to bring this into an application such as Revit so we can start to have this interesting uh, combination of modeling and uh, project management kind of coexisting in the same world. So I'm just going to go into Revit and Conductor is installed into both Revit and Rhino. I'll show you the Rhino application in just a second um, but if I'm going to go into uh, the Proving Ground tab inside of Revit I can find Conductor 1.0 and that's going to load up this dockable window that is hooking right into uh, the Trello service. So using the Trello API we can connect into and access everything from organizations to boards to lists within boards to cards within lists and then data assigned to different cards. That's pretty exciting and pretty uh, robust in terms of how you can begin to interface uh, with Trello uh, from different applications. So you can see that I have my organization set to conductor. I have several organizations in my Trello um, and I'm going to go to this board that I had set up as demonstration board. I'm just going to click into that. I'm then going to go down to select the list and remember how we had those lists to do, doing, and done. I can see that those lists are available to me and I'm just going to click on the to do column. And then it's going to ask me to select a card. So within each list, remember we have these different cards. Um, so I can see that I have task two and task three. And then if I shuffle over to the done column, you can see that I have task one, where I you know, move task one from the, the to do to doing and then to done. I'm just going to go back to the to do column. And I'm going to select one of these cards. And you can see that there's not much information about these cards. I just, I just now created them, so there's not a lot of data to them. But you can see that within the tr conductor interface, I can also create a new card. So I'm going to click on the Create New Card button. That's going to take me to this window here that's going to allow me to assign a certain task. So one can imagine themselves working through a project model, discovering something and being, ah, you know, I need to, to get into the model or assign someone else on my team to do something or fix one part of my model up. Or maybe there's a coordination issue that I need to have resolved. So I'm going to click on this card and I'm going to say Align Column grid in model. 
uh, something like that. You know, it might it might be some some task for adjusting the grids or the levels or you know whatever you could imagine. You might have a little description uh, that just starts to talk about the alignment issue persists, and you know you can create a checklist like adjust grid A and adjust. Grid one. So I have my my checklist of items there, and you can see that under members I can assign different people to uh, be responsible for this card. I could have one or both uh, individuals listed here. There's my colleague Dave. Um, I'm going to assign myself to this card, and then you can see that we've got our labels uh, that were created here. I'm going to label this as a high priority. And then one of the cool things that we can do here is also take screenshots out of the model and have those automatically upload to Trello. So I'm just going to click this to, to say take a screenshot. And I'm going to choose create card. And then it's going to jump me into this uh, interface where I can then take a screenshot of some part of the model. So I'll just take a screenshot there. And it's going to say the image was added to the Trello card. I can hit OK. And then you can see that it that card is now selected in my select a card list. Uh, we have some card info. Here's the name of the card. You can say it's set to high priority. Um, there's my name. I might say at a certain point, hey, you know, I actually want to add Dave to this. So I'm going to go in and say add members. I'll make sure Dave gets added to that drop down list. And you can see that we've got our checklist uh, that was created. We can you know, take multiple screenshots if we want. And the cool thing is, is that once, as we have these cards created, I can also jump back to Trello and say, hey, I want to view this card on Trello. And we can jump back to the web. Um, you can see it's been flagged as past due because of the time I set it inside of the uh, Revit environment. But you can see there's our screenshot. Um, there's our checklist. Um, our members are added, etc. I'm just going to go right back into Revit here. Um, I'm going to you know, check off these items and I'm going to say, hey, let's move this to the doing column. And I'm going to update that card. And it says that card is updated. So if I jump over into Trello again, you can see that that's been moved to the, to the doing column. So you can be pretty interactive with how we are uh, interfacing with Trello right from within the Revit environment. Um, you can see that we've got different checklists. We can also add comments to the card. Um, so if I wanted to say, okay, add a new comment, uh, this card is currently in progress. I'm going to add that comment. If I can jump back into the card here, you can see that sure enough, there's that there's that comment that's been added. And you know maybe at a certain point I want to also uh, start adding a different screenshot here. So maybe I need to zoom in to one of these grid lines that I say that needs to be adjusted here and say, okay, let's take a screenshot of that. And that image will be captured and then uploaded to Trello. So let's view that card on Trello again. Sure enough, there's our original image and then there's the new image that uh, I just took. So as I mentioned, um, this interface can also be used within Rhino. Uh, it's not purely for the Revit platform. So if I go to Rhino, uh, the installer that uh, comes with Conductor installs both versions for both Rhino and Revit uh, and also supports Revit 2015 through Revit 2017. But to access it in Rhino, uh, after it's installed, you should have a new command called conductor. So I'm going to type in conductor. And that's going to load uh, the dockable interface inside of Rhino. And I'm just going to bring that over here, and dock it within my Rhino modeling environment. And you can see it's uh, just about identical. Um, it's the same interface that is feeding into Revit. Um, but And I can also go through the same activities of going to my board, going to the same board that we saw before. I'll even pull up the same task that I created inside of Revit. And there it is. And I can even go in and start to say, hey, maybe I need to take a screenshot of something in Rhino. 
that might be relevant to that card. It's going to upload that to the same card. I'm going to go view that card on Trello. And then there it is. Um, so our first image that we took when we created the card, the image that we took while we were sitting in Revit, and then the image that was taken inside of Rhino. So you can start to see that multiple modeling environments are interacting with the same task list uh, that has been coordinated within Trello's project management environment. The other thing that you can do, um, I, I mentioned checklist comments, you can also add attachments to cards. So you can see that there's, uh, there's some attachments from uh, the previous session in Revit. Um, if I wanted to upload something like an Excel spreadsheet uh, or a set of images I have on my hard drive or even some model uh, geometry data, we can add those as attachments. So that way when a user pulls this data down, they can then uh, access those attachments and pull them down to their computer uh, right from within this, this dockable window. Uh, so hopefully this provides you all with some good context on how you can use Conductor to do different things. Um, pretty straightforward I would say as, a, as an application we're using it quite a bit for things like model review and coordination and, and other tasks that we do as consultants at Proving Ground and I hope you enjoy trying it out and I hope you get some value out of it. Thanks very much.